Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this exponential equation. And at the end, we are going to check our answer as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. The very first step that I'm going to do is I am going to divide across the board by this 2 power x. 2 power x and a 2 power x. So that is going to give us 2 power x and 2 power x is going to give us 1 plus. And to simplify this thing, we are going to use this rule of exponent. I can write this one by using that rule. I can write 4 over 2 power x equals to, on the right hand side, I'm going to use the same rule. So that is going to give us 8 over 2 power x. Now let's simplify. So that could be written as 1 plus 4 over 2 could be reduced to 2 power x equals to, this reduces to 4 power x. And now in the next step, I have just copied down this one right over here. Let's simplify that one. So that could be written as, 4 could be written as this 4. I can write 2 power 2 and then power x, isn't it? And now we are going to use the rule of exponent. So when you have a two exponents, you can multiply them out. So that is going to become 2 power 2x. And then once again, I can write this one as 2 power x and then power 2. So our this equation is going to become on the left hand side as 2, 1 plus 2 power x equals to, here I'm going to replace this one by this form. I can write 2 power x and then power 2. And now if we focus on this equation, we can see that we got a 2 power x and we got a 2 power x over here. So we are going to use our substitution method. I'm going to say let u equals to 2 power x. So then our this above equation is going to become 1 plus u equal to u square. Let's move these all these terms on the right hand side. So we are going to get u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0. And we can see that this is a quadratic equation in a standard form. So therefore, we are going to use this quadratic formula to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and find the a, b and c value. In our case, a equals to 1, b equals to negative 1, and c equal to negative 1 as well. And here is our quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So u equals to minus b. In our case, b is negative 1 plus or minus b square. In our case, is going to be a negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 1 all over 2 times a is 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify this one. So u is going to be simply negative 1 and negative 1 become positive 1 and then plus or minus if we simplify this one, it's going to be one negative one squared is one plus four all over divided by two. Let's simplify furthermore. So u is going to give us one plus or minus square root of five divided by two. Now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs. So we can write this one as u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the other value is going to be u equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now u could be written as if I put in a decimal form this could be written as approximately equal to 1.618 
and on this side u is going to be approximately equal to negative 0 0.618 and now we got a one positive value of u and one negative and we know that u equals to 2 power x and that means the u value must be positive all the time so that means we are going to eliminate this negative value and we are going to accept this one so this is our accepted value let me just write it down over here u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and do the back substitution we know that our u is 2 power x you can see this one so we are going to replace this u by 2 power x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now to simplify furthermore we are going to take the log logarithmic this one log on both sides now we are going to use this power rule that means we have a, this exponent x we can move this one to the front so we can write this one as x times log of 2 equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and isolate x so we are going to divide both sides by log of 2 and here log of 2 as well this log of 2 and log of 2 is gone so we got x equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of of 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this one log of this quantity by using this quotient rule so we can write this one as x equal to on the top is going to become log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2 and divided by log of 2 and now if we use a calculator we know that the log of uh, 1 plus square root of 5 is approximately equal to 0 0.51 minus log of 2 is 0 0.3 approximately divided by once again that's going to be a 0. 3x equal to so thus x is approximately equal to if we simplify that thing that's going to be 0 0.7 and here's our final step let's check our answer and we got answer is x is approximately equal to 0 0.7 so wherever we see x we are going to replace it by that value However, we have to be very careful when we are doing the checking part. We have to be very careful with the rounded numbers. They may distort our outcome. So therefore, we are going to use this x value that is not rounded over here. So therefore, I have replaced x by this quantity over here as you can see. And now we're going to check whether this left hand side is equal to the right hand side and if we use the calculator we got 1.618 plus 2.618 and now the question is is it equal to 4.236 and we can see that the left hand side equal to right hand side indeed so we checked our answer and thus here is our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.